whatever looks like a case that the enemy has been using against you that case is sorted now before this day is over it is evident that your captivity is torn God has commissioned Bishop David Oyedepo to preach the word of faith liberating men everywhere from all oppressions of the devil get set for an empowerment that will enable you to rule in the midst of your enemies and subdue them under your feet now Bishop David Oyedepo I'm blessed the name of the Lord one more time for the amazing provisions he's made for our empowerment in this wicked world thank you Jesus in Jesus precious name we have prayed one of us was reported cutted away by some armed bandits and that was um, in the second service first service and I was informed on my seat so I took his name and breathed on it and said now in the name of Jesus before the fourth service is back I said call the wife for me and I said before the fourth service is back hallelujah is back <laughs> now listen to me everything spoken about you today if you are foolish enough to believe it, I believe. they will come to pass instantly. God said to me, Behold, I've touched your tongue with the coal of fire. He said, And from now, as you say it, you say it. Therefore, concerning you and the issues of concern in your life, I declare by the Spirit of the Lord, enough is enough! <laughs> Concerning every oppression and assault of witches and wizards on any aspect of your life, I declare as God's prophet, enough is enough! against every assault on your health that makes you look pitiable in the eyes of men I declare and decree today enough is enough concerning your fruitfulness and you have cried and waited and waited and waited but as God's prophet I declare concerning you today and the issues of fruitfulness enough is enough you have waited and waited and everybody think you may wait to have to wait forever concerning marriage ah everybody has gotten married you have attended their marriages you have been waiting for your own forever nothing seems to be coming but i decree today as god's prophet concerning your marital destiny enough is enough So shall it be. A man, one of us was gutted by fire and 85% burnt. And according to them, survivor is uh, near zero. And he was in a coma. And my son came to me and said, I looked at the picture. There was no life in it. He shall not die. So he went home. Bah, 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 bah. He went to the place and I simply said no. Because I thought to see there. He's in a coma. I won't know anybody came or not. He said, I have a message from Papa. They said, going. Papa said, you shall not die. And as he told me, I said, Amen. <laughs> Whatever is spoken concerning you today must answer in your favor. I decree as God's prophet, your waiting for fruitfulness is over today. Your waiting 
for marriage is over today. You're standing on the line for breakthrough in your business, in your career is over today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. For everything that must come to an end today in your favor. Now, go ahead and begin to pray. Enough is enough. Whatever that is, is begin to declare it. Enough is enough. Reko Sezia, Yakatike Tokorua. Brother, your spiritual life, your career, your business. Enough is enough. Rekuta Prekete Kotia, Yakatakute Keretise. A processi, a processi, Yekura by a candy, Bradis or Koti and the two. By the blood of Jesus, enough is enough. Rectono, rectono, rectono. Embrocoto, Celia. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. In this prophetic, enough is enough service. God is drawing a conclusion of your battle in your favor. Take up your prayer banquet card and this hour we are going to approach God in thanksgiving. Whatever is listed on your card has been turned into testimonies. Lift up those cards and give God intense thanks for every item so listed. Toso Siga Jacre Koto Sezia Agara Kataga Agara Kataga Geruka Tagatoke Agara Garakote Kete Egura Gerakuta Kero Araga Regoragara Bayato Give him thanks from the depth of your heart. Every item on your prayer card is turned into a testimony in your hand. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Father, thank you for turning every issue of concern as presented to you in the course of the month and as listed on this card or maybe uttered with our mouth, turn them one by one into testimonies. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. In one word, speak to the Lord. Lord, reach out to me in a unique way today. Go ahead and pray. Reach out to me in a unique way today. Open up my understanding. Help me to see in clear terms what you are saying. In Jesus' precious name we have. Pray. It is done. 
give the Lord a big hand, get, get to your seat and sit. Amen. The good news is Shiloh is only five weeks away. And we've been having already pre Shiloh encounters by the Spirit of the Lord ever since this month began. And today is going to be one of the most unique days of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Between, Genesis, between Exodus chapter 4 and Exodus chapter 10, it was a long drawn battle between God's mandate and the devil's resistance. All kinds of interventions for rescue, but Pharaoh and the gods of Egypt won't let go. If I came to a point, God said, See, I've made you a God unto Pharaoh. Yet Pharaoh won't let go. Signs and wonders and mighty deeds were wrought by the Holy Ghost. Yet Pharaoh won't let go. We had the lies that filled the whole land, the frogs that filled everywhere. We had the water turned into blood. We had flies all over the places. We had thick darkness that came. All kinds of signs were wrought, but Pharaoh won't let go. And God said, enough is enough. Come and say, enough is enough. Enough is enough. And he brought the sea of enough is enough. And that's why we're having this blood covenant service today. To help us see how to bring conclusion to every long drawn battle of your life every long drawn battle of your life how to bring an end to it then God spoke up he said I will bring yet one more plague upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt and I bet you after that he will let you go and when he will let you go he will utterly thrust you out Exodus chapter 11 verse 1 one more Enough is enough. Enough of oppositions, enough of resistances, enough of negotiations. Man, I'm bringing one more thing. And it will be the enough is enough seed of triumph for my people. And the Lord God said to Moses, mm, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. And afterwards, he will let you go hence. And when he will let you go, he will surely throw you out else altogether. I will turn you into a course of fire in his hand. He will not be able to hold you any second more. Bredisa, Krekusoshia, Englakatuneto, Brezizoria, Nekaratosa. Whatever force may be holding down any part of your destiny, either too. As we engage the enough is enough weapon, they must give up on you. They must give up on you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so the mystery of the Passover blood was God's enough is enough weapon. The end of all discussions. The end of all arguments. God instituted the mystery of the blood of sprinkling as the seal of his enough is enough power. Amen. In the military, you have the grand force. And it's heavy with the artillery, with the tanks, with the auto weapons. Great. But then superior to that is the air power. Brrr, wham. Brrr, wham. But beyond all of that is the nuclear power. Hallelujah. That is what this weapon represents. Is the spiritual nuclear force 
no resistance, no barriers, no oppositions. Therefore, whatever may be standing on your path in any form, your path of your, your redemptive dignity, your path of breakthroughs in life and in business, whatever may be resisting your spiritual breakthroughs. Now, listen to this. As we engage this nuclear dimension of God's power, you are set free. First John chapter 5 and verse 7 and 8. There are three that bear record in heaven. Because it's the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. First John 5 and verse 7. And there are three that bear witness in the earth. And he defines them. The Spirit, capital letter S, means the Holy Ghost. The water, that is the Word of God, Ephesians 5.26. And the blood. And these three are green one. Now, he defined the trinity of heaven in verse 7. And defined the trinity of the earth in verse 8. There are three forces that establishes the believer's dominion on the earth. The spirit, the word, and the blood. Whatever escapes the spirit, the dagger of the world will bring it down. Whatever escapes the dagger of the, the world, the dagger of the blood must bring it down. God has nothing more to offer. That is God's best offer for mankind. And God's best must deliver under any circumstance. Yes, sir. For it's the Lord God omnipotent. That is God's best. So his omnipotency dwells in the blood covenant. Hallelujah. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. His omnipotency dwells in the blood covenant. This is so important. Satan has no place in heaven because the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost are in command. So Satan can have no place on the earth as long as the Spirit, the Word, and the blood are in force. Unfortunately, the church is blessed with the Word and the charismatic movement promotes the Word. The Pentecostal movement promotes the Holy Ghost. But very little is known by the blood. Very little of the blood is known until very recently. And I'm telling you this, the devil is in for it. I said the devil is in for it. <laughs> Every harassment of the devil against your destiny must suffer devastation this week. This week, must bring devastations into the camp of your enemy. Amen. We engage the blood covenant in three main ways. One, we engage the blood in spiritual warfare through prayers. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Revelation 12, 11. So when certain things are out of order, you have prayed the word, is not responding. You have prayed in the spirit, is saying no way. Man, I was praying sometime this, this week, and I said, Satan, you lie. Satan, you lie. You bloody devil. Let God be true and not demons be liars. Satan, you lie. You are not in charge. Satan, you lie, I know you are dethroned. Satan, you lie, I know your powers have been destroyed. Satan, you lie, there is no more power left in your hand. Because I heard Jesus say, all powers in heaven and on earth. One day we were in, we were in Liberia and then... Um, It drizzled in the course of the crusade at the stadium. I said, what? I said, 
Next thing to me. If it drops here tomorrow, Liberia will never see rain again. All the death was in hell. Hear me now. Following day, mama. The clouds sat. No drop. In the course of the prince, a blind eyes open. Fire, thunderstorm, brimstone from heaven. Friend, Satan is foul liar. Everything against your destiny is camouflage. As the law living, by the nuclear power of the blood, you are walking to liberty today. Thank you, Jesus. We engage the blood through in spiritual warfare, in prayers. We can engage the blood of Jesus against the activities of the wicked one, and he must surrender. A pastor testified in one of his books that he was out in Canada and had a dream that foxes invaded his premises in the U.S. and attacked his children. So he drew the bloodline in prayer, the blood of Jesus, across the perimeter of my property in the name of Jesus. I overcome every intruder by the blood of Jesus. The following morning they called him. They found three foxes dead along the perimeter of his building. Three foxes dead, dead, by engaging the blood in warfare. Therefore, against the forces of barrenness, I come against you by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Forces of marital spares, I come against you by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Against all the foul spirits of infirmity, I come against you by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Against every evil for Satan on your career and your business, I come against them by the blood of Jesus. So let's engage the blood in warfare. Whatever does not answer to the spirit, I will not answer to the word, must answer to the blood. Not one can escape. Can I hear your loudest amen? Yeah. There was no one house in Egypt where there was not a cry. That is, is total devastation, total cry and willingness, no escape. Nothing escapes the delivery of nuclear power. Yes, nothing, no. nothing. The engagement of nuclear power silences all opposition. So engage God's nuclear power, the blood, and see what happens. Number two, we engage the blood covenant through the communion table. The blood of Jesus that we serve in the communion empowers us to live like Jesus. Not only that, it destroys every weakness in our system. It uproots every sickness from our body. And it sets a seal of longevity on our life. First Corinthians 11 from verse 23 to verse 30. We had the testimony of a woman here. When he gave birth to his child, he was getting smaller and smaller, and the weight was dropping and dropping. And one of the concerned sisters said to her, do you give your son communion? He said, no, because himself didn't believe in the communion. That even when he comes from the week service, he doesn't take communion. You see, the devil knows how to punish people. He wasn't taking communion. So as he gave the son communion, the son said, I want to poo food. And went and poo food, and what did they find? Human ears. An insect from our body. And that ended the siege. Man, there is power in the blood. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This child used to cry every 1 a.m. The demons inside her will just set the signal, 1 a.m. <laughs> and a crying baby, baby must have a sleepless mother. That was it. But the blood sorted it out. Today, 
as the Lord liveth, whatever remains to be sorted in anyone's life, the power of the blood will sort it out. And then the third way we are engaged the blood covenant in warfare is through the mystery of the blood of sprinkling. The mystery of the blood of sprinkling. That is our stronghold in battle. That is the ultimate of God's power. Now listen to this. There is the spirit power. There is the word power. And there is the blood power. <laughs> the spirit power is power level one. The word power is power level two. And the blood power is power level three. And that level three is also in three levels. There is the blood warfare power. There is the communion power. And there is the super level power of the blood of sprinkling. Can I hear your amen? amen. That is God's ultimate artillery. That is the highest is God in sorting out the matters concerning his people. That's the highest. God's highest must deliver. No matter we standing on the way. When he searches for his hand, who shall turn it back? So every time you bring the blood of sprinkling in, you are invoking God's ultimate. You are invoking God's ultimate power. God's ultimate power. And that's what God engaged in chapter 11. That, that's what God said he was going to engage in chapter 11. And that's what he engaged in chapter 12. And they sprinkled the blood upon the lintel of their houses and the, the two doorposts. And that was God's ultimate for their rescue. God's ultimate for vengeance in the camp of the enemy. God's ultimate for their glorious supernatural restoration. Man. You say, but that's the house is the, the, the sprinkled. But you are God's building. Yes, First Corinthians 3 9. You are temples of the Holy Ghost. First Corinthians 6 18. Now see, you are God's building. So you are a sprinkleable entity. Can I hear your amen? You are God's building, so you are a sprinkleable entity. Not only that, when Moses has spoken out the word of the Lord, the Bible said he took blood and sprinkled the, both the book and all the people. Hebrews 9 verse 19 and verse 21 says, almost all things, he sprinkled also the tabernacle and all the instruments of ministry, sprinkled everything. Sprinkled everything. Everything is sprinkleable for a covering. So everything sprinkled is covered for deliverance, covered for vengeance in the camp of the enemy, and covered for supernatural restoration. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today, as your blood material is blessed and turned into the blood of Jesus, your escape is ratified in heaven. Amen. Vengeance is ratified in the camp of your enemy. Amen. And super, your supernatural restoration is ratified in heaven. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. How many will say amen to that? Amen. And so, the blood of sprinkling mystery was instituted in Exodus chapter 12. And what was it instituted to achieve? Let's look at it. Hebrews chapter 12. I mean, Exodus chapter 12. Somebody is breaking forth right here. Somebody is breaking forth right here. The most humbling testimonies of this ministry will be generated from what is happening right now. This week will be the most humbling week of your entire life. Yeah. You believe it? Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What is in the blood? Let's go, go, go into it. Um, 
God said to Moses, Call for all the elders of Israel, verse 21, and say unto them, Draw out and take you a lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. It's a lamb without spot. That's Jesus in the figure. And take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in that blood that's in the basin and strike the lintel, verse 22, and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. For the Lord will pass through and smite Egypt, the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood upon the lintel and on the two sides, suicide posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not allow the destroyer to come in into your houses to smite you. And verse 24 together, let's read. And ye shall observe this thing for an ordinance to thee and to thy seed. For how long? So the Passover mystery is a forever mystery. It's not an Old Testament phenomenon. It is packaged as a forever mystery for engagement against every long drum battles of our life. Can I hear your amen? amen. Forever, 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 forever. And when that happened, and God smote Egypt, like he said, and everybody that needed to be judged was judged, Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron that night, by night. He called for them by that night. The event of this week will be the most instant experience of your life. <laughs> Suddenly, your careers will open up. <laughs> Suddenly, your business will open up. Suddenly, your total health will be supernaturally restored. Suddenly, you'll be confirmed pregnant. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. And after that was done, they were called and let go supernaturally. Go, as you have said, from among my people, both ye and the children of Israel, verse 31, and go serve the Lord, as you have said. Whatever has been hindering your full-scale service of the Lord, whatever seemed to depress you where you are about to move to serve the Lord, by the blood, God is sorting them out now. Also take your flocks and your hearts, as you have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might leave them, they might send them out of the land of in haste. For they said, We'll be all dead men. Your oppressors will start, they, they will now become your beggars. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. What is in the blood of sprinkling. Let's look at a few of them very quickly. The blood of sprinkling invokes vengeance. Come and say vengeance. Exodus 12, 12. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. It invokes divine judgment against our captors, human and spiritual, that is agents of the devil in the flesh, witches and wizards that harass our destinies. And I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt. Man, I'm the Lord. So their deliverance began with judgment. Until your captors come under judgment, your freedom is not in view. Therefore, 
I invoke the vengeance of the blood against all your adversaries. Amen. They are falling and brought down by the judgment of God. Amen. So their journey to liberty began with vengeance in the camp of their enemies. So the blood of sprinkling invokes vengeance. Invokes what? Vengeance. So as you are sprinkled, vengeance answers in the camp of your adversaries. Mm -hmm. And then from verse 33, they were urgent upon them to go. Come and say deliverance. deliverance. The blood of sprinkling invokes instant deliverance. Come and say instant deliverance. Instant. Ah, yeah. instant deliverance, instant deliverance, instant deliverance, instant deliverance, instant deliverance, instant deliverance. 1996, we were carrying out a blood of sprinkling ministration in my degree. And there was, there was this elderly woman that had no blood in one of her hands, white. As the blood touched her, blood started flowing. Instant. Watch out. This week shall be a week of instant manifestations of the raw power of the blood. Amen. We had a girl here, one of our pastor's daughters, had kidney problem, heart enlargement, all of that. And they came in for the blood of sprinkling service. Heavens broke loose. Glory to God. As the blood touched her, her body started coming down. Went to the hospital, checked everything perfect. Instant deliverance. I decree instant deliverance for every captive by the power of the blood. What is in the blood of sprinkling? The aftermath of that sprinkling was their supernatural restoration. What do I call it? There was supernatural transfer of wealth. Their human dignity was colorfully restored. Exodus 12, 35 and 36. The Bible said they spoiled the Egyptians. In fact, I believe Pharaoh pursued them because all the wealth of Egypt was gone. They were all dead men. All their silver, all their gold had been carted away by the supernatural power of restoration as in the blood of sprinkling. Therefore, as we engage this mystery, expect supernatural restoration of your health. Amen. Supernatural restoration of your business and career. Yeah. Supernatural restoration of your broken up family. Yeah. Supernatural restoration of your wayward children. Yeah. Expect supernatural restoration as a result. Yeah. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. He said, Talking in Zechariah chapter 9, beginning from verse 9, he painted the picture of Jesus as our king that is riding upon an ass and the fall of an ass. And that's what we saw in Numbers 21 when Jesus was riding upon the corn to Jerusalem. And the father said to the son in verse 11, And as for thee also, God the father talking to Jesus, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth your prisoners out of the pit we are in is no water. Then he turned back to us. Hey, children, turn to your stronghold. The blood covenant. Ye prisoners of hope, even today do I declare that I will render, I will restore double unto you. It is our year of double restoration. It's our year of double portion. So whatever may have been robbed you, shall be rendered back double back to you in the name of jesus 
there is restoration power in the blood covenant and this power is unleashed through the mystery of the blood of sprinkling somebody gave a testimony in the second or third service today he came into church he didn't even understand what the blood of sprinkling was about but he came under it and everything turned and then things went a wire he returned back to god and came under it again and everything turned now it's wiser than before glory to god amen, amen. there is restoration power in the blood covenant via the mystery of the blood of sprinkling man don't miss next friday for anything you will experience the raw power of the blood amen raw power of the blood amen. blind eyes will be open yeah. the deaf will hear amen. the cripple will walk yeah. people's meeting my soul will be released yeah. every captive man we had a testimony this week the most humbling we've ever had autism man this woman hooked up online in the u.s on youtube and her son that was born 2007, plagued with this ir irreversible plague of autism. Autism is an irreversible plague of the devil. He came under that anointing and began to engage in 21 covenant medication prophetic instruction, touching the tongue of this plague son with the oil every day. Man, the tongue was loosed. The speech, psh, the behavior. Psh. If that happened by the spirit, just imagine what will happen by the blood. Because the blood is the third level power. The level three power. And the blood of sprinkling is the third of that third level power. There's going to be an eruption. Amen. When the blood of Jesus was drained on the earth, there was an earthquake. Come and say earthquake. earthquake. There was an earthquake. And the graves were open. And not the death. Look, every closed case, every case that they have called closed. We had humbling testimonies of childbirth today. IBS didn't work. Nothing worked. We won't, won't work. Nothing worked, but the word worked. If the world walk that level, imagine what the blood will walk. Therefore, every case caught close concerning you is reopened in your favor by the power of the blood. The blood is also our defense against the accusers of the brethren. The devil specializes in accusing us unto God. But the blood is our defense against the accuser of the brethren. How? When the father sees the blood, the travail of his son, he said he will be satisfied. Everything by law is touched by the blood. So when the blood is seen on you, every point of aggression against you is thrown out. The blood is your covering against the accusation of the devil. He said, the Lord shall be seen upon them. Can I hear your amen? amen? He said, the Lord himself shall defend them. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 14 and 15. What does that mean? It means when the blood is sprinkled, no accusation of the devil against you is tenable. No accusation of the devil against you is tenable. Every accusation of hell against you is dropped. So the blood is our covering against the activities of the accusers of the brethren. Revelation chapter 12 verse 10. Who accuses them day and night and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. So that is our defense against the accusation of the accuser of the brethren, the blood of sprinkling. Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Can I hear your loudest amen? amen. And finally, number seven, the blood of sprinkling is the blood of the everlasting covenant. 
it continues to work. I've mentioned that earlier on from Exodus chapter 12 and verse 24. It shall be an ordinance for you and for thy children forever. And Hebrews 13, 20, he said, the blood of the everlasting covenant, the blood of Jesus, is the blood of the... It walks through all ages. Through all ages, it must walk for you. Can I hear your loudest amen if you are there? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. It is your understanding of the truth that pours faith. It is faith that guarantees delivery. Every one of you that believe in the revelation you have received today, watch out for the dramatic events of this week in your life. A woman was there at the uh, September last segment of our training in Bible school. And on the 27th of September, we were ministering and I said to them, there is no carryover to the next month. And God rose up. She was believing God for marriage. She was 54. And before 12 midnight, heavens broke through. And the man showed up. They are set now to get married before Shiloh. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Every time you believe the prophetic word, you have committed the God who sent it yes. to confirm it. Therefore, hear this. This week, whatever remains in the battle against your destiny must come under the verdict of enough is enough. Amen. There's a dramatic turnaround for you this week. Yeah. And it's starting from today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Before we minister to the blood materials we brought, please get seated. Give the Lord a big hand, everybody. If you are in this fourth service and you are not born again yet, the blood covenant is for the redeemed of the Lord. It is for God's people. It only answers to God's people. And it is new birth that makes you a child of God. We talk about the communion, another dimension of the blood. It is only for the disciples. It was never served to the multitudes, never once. It was served to the disciples. You have to become a child of God. Concerning engagement of the blood covenant in prayers, uh, prayer will only be answered when you have a father in heaven, the one that answers prayers. And he knows his sheep, and he calls them by name. So until you are saved, your prayer is futile. Until you are saved, you cannot partake of the communion and expect any effect. Until you are saved, the blood, engaging the blood covenant in prayers the blood of sprinkling will not answer. So wherever you are this afternoon or this morning, you want to give your life to Christ, please stand. Stand to your feet right now. God bless you. Stand to your feet. This is your day of rescue. Stand to your feet. Everyone that wants to say yes to Jesus, please stand. Stand right now. Stand to be counted. This is your chance for a change of story. Stand. This is your escape from every molestation of the devil. Stand. This is the only way. To fulfill destiny in the grand style. Please stand and remain standing. I'll pray for you right now. I pray with you in a moment. Please stand. Stand to your feet. Everyone that wants to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, you want your sins forgiven you. You want to make heaven at the end of your journey on earth. You want to enjoy the best of life here on earth. Please stand and I'll pray with you. God bless you and God bless you. They are still standing wherever you are. Get up on your feet. This is your chance to change your story. Get up on your feet and remain standing. Please get up on your feet. Many more still need to stand up wherever you are. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. There are also people here that need to rededicate their lives to Jesus. That my daughter came on here and said, we stood and rededicated our life. And Jesus stepped in. When she said she was pregnant, consult and say it is not possible. It is not possible. But where we have the child here. There is no need for, for any further argument. Whether it's possible or not, look at the child. That is the child. That is the child. 
the world does not have solution to your problem. It is God that has solution to it. Anybody else may make attempts. God does not make an attempt. He deals with the issues. Whatever thing concerns you must find an answer this time. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Please stand. Stand, please. Everyone that wants to dedicate his life to Christ, please stand. Please stand. You need to make it right with God. Please stand. You need to reconnect back to God. Please stand and remain standing, please. I'll be praying for you right now. Please stand. Everyone that wants to dedicate his or life to Christ, please stand. Many more needs to get up right now. Please do that quickly. Do that quickly and move in. Just move towards the eye closest to where you are standing. Officials are there and they will stand with you as I pray with you. Please move out of where you are standing, please. Move out of where you are standing. Officials, please get them out on the eyes and I'll be praying for them. Glory to God. Get them on the eyes, I'll be praying for them. The signs and wonders of today is out, breaking invisible barriers on the path of destiny. In Jesus' name, it is released to bless mankind worldwide in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. All of us who are standing along the eyes, please fill out your cards in a moment and expect an unusual turnaround in your life. Glory to God. As the blood material is blessed today, it is left in your hand as God's nuclear power to deal with the issues of your life. You can engage it in communion and you are specially to engage it in sprinkling. Come and say sprinkling. Pour some little of it in water and then sprinkle all sprinklables. Sprinkle every member of your family. They become touch not entities. They become coals of fire. Amen. Amen. When you are sprinkled, you are status changes supernaturally. Amen. You are turned into the sword of a mighty man. Amen. His arrows are going forth from you like lightnings. After they were sprinkled, they were untouchable, they were unmolestable, they were irresistible. That's what happens. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 13, 14, and 15 shows, paints a picture of your change of status as provoked by the blood covenant through the mystery of sprinkling. You can't be molested. You can't be harassed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So get to your room, lock your door, and sprinkle everybody in your house. Sprinkle your premises. No go area for the devil. Anyone that dares your premises is a dead man. Sprinkle your vehicles. No more accident. No more crisis. No more batches. No robber will tamper with any such vehicles. Everything sprinkled is sanctified unto God. Amen. Anyone that touches it touches fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone standing along the eyes, please bow your heads right now. Lift up your right hand before the Most High God as I lead you in prayers. And pray this prayer of faith after me, every one of us. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Come into my heart, Jesus. Wash me me from my sins make me a child of God I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I might be justified right now I believe my sins are forgiven I am justified I am saved I'm born again I'm a child of God thank you Jesus for saving me Thank you, Jesus, for restoring me. And thank you, Jesus, for receiving me. Amen and amen. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree that today marks a turning point in your life. I command all things, all things to pass away and all things to become new. In the name of Jesus, begin to exhibit the fruits of new birth. Every test for sin is declared destroyed. By the blood of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Please submit your cards to the Kingdom Friends standing by you and be reminded of the Believer Foundation classes that host tomorrow and the time is 6, 30, 6 to 7.30 p.m. And you go for only two Mondays. There must be one closest to where you live. Check your packet and you'll find the location guide out there. We have two CC locations across Lagos and Otter. There must be one close to where you live. Please be there. 
You go for only two Mondays and then you are empowered in the Holy Ghost. You can live a triumphant life. Jesus is Lord. Shall we all rise, please? Take up your blood material, please. You came with your black currant bottle, any other fruit drink, or even the bottle of water that you came along with. And first and foremost, profess your faith based on the word of life you have received. I believe in the efficacy of the blood of Jesus. Therefore, begin to come against whatever thing there is that represents a siege of the enemy against your life, against your spiritual life. Man, against your family, against your marital life, against your business, against your career, whatever represents a siege, begin to engage in spiritual warfare. I come against you, Satan. Enough is enough. By the blood of Jesus, I come against every spirit of infirmity tormenting the people of God under the sound of my voice today. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. I'd like you to profess your faith. I hope your bottles are open. Profess your faith in the power of the blood in the communion. And profess your faith in the nuclear power of the blood through the mystery of sprinkling. Go ahead and profess it. I believe in the efficacy of the power of the blood in the communion. I believe in the efficacy of the power of the blood through the mystery of sprinkling. I believe. I believe. Somebody's praying. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Take up those bottles. This is the first time in the history of our church that people have been asked to bring bottles in. So expect the first order of miracles. Father, I declare the contents of these bottles the blood of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians 5, 7, he calls Jesus our Passover. Even Christ, our Passover lamb, is sacrificed for us. And the Passover blood is for sprinkling, not for drinking. It's the same blood we drink in the communion that we sprinkle in the blood, in the blood of sprinkling, mystery. So, as you partake of this in communion, it answers to you supernaturally. Amen. You engage of this Passover blood in sprinkling. It delivers a seven-fold mission in your life. In the name of Jesus. This is heaven's seed of your enough is enough victory. Yeah. Your marital destiny is released. Yeah. Your spiritual destiny is released. Yeah.
your business and career destiny is released. And you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, as you get home today, this is what to do. Make some of these in water. And if it's water, declare it the blood because it's now declared the blood of Jesus. Can I hear your amen? amen? And should you add any drink to it, it is still the blood. Amen. The content in your hand is now the blood of Jesus. Amen. And sprinkle your house. Sprinkle your environment. Sprinkle every living soul in your house. The last mishap you suffered is the last you ever know. Sprinkle your rooms. Any robber that dares your premises is dead. Sprinkle your vehicles. No more accident, no more mishap. In the name of Jesus. Sprinkle your business places. Sprinkle your offices. From henceforth, it shall be testimonies of supernatural restoration. In the name of Jesus. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. It's the power of God to salvation to everyone that believes. It is foolishness to be shameful of what is gainful. It is foolishness to be shameful of what is gainful. It is foolishness to be shameful of what is gainful. I therefore decree that this week, shall be a week of gainful testimonies for you. There shall be amazing miracle jobs this week. There shall be amazing miracle marriage connectivities this week. There shall be amazing marital restoration this week. Everything called dead in anyone's body bounces back to life today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift all these bottles and give God thanks, everybody. Give God thanks from the depth of your heart. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. High praises. It's a medium for provoking the release of your packages with God. It is your signatory of delivery. So come ready on Sunday to dance the balance of your package down. Glory to God. Uh, don't miss it for anything and get your friends along with you. Everybody knows in this church that high praises time is strange happening time. How many agree with that? Okay. Has God changed? For all your labor since the year began, harvest season has finally come. Amen. This coming month is your harvest season. Amen. Everything that belongs to you must drop. Amen. They must drop speedily. Amen. You believe it? Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. What time are we gathered for the Passover night on Friday? What time is it? If anyone can't make it here, please make it to any of the provincial centers. Every living winner must come under that service. Can I hear your amen? amen? And his name shall be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those with vehicles should help their neighbors to come down on, on, on Friday night because there is no central transport arrangement because anybody can stay in the provincial centers. There will be live brokers reaching us where we are. Jesus is Lord. Somebody excited? Yeah. Lift up your two hands and give God thanks, everybody. Let him hear your voice of thanksgiving. Magnify him for what he has done in our lives. Get your thanks. Give God thanks and praise. Lord, we worship you. We glorify you. Are you sure God is hearing your voice of thanksgiving? Magnify him with a loud voice. He has done us well in this service. 
Give him praise. Give him glory. Thank you and thank you, Father. We worship you and we adore you. Blessed be your mighty name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given praise. And just in case you came in before the offerings were collected, you will do well to look out for our officials carrying the late offering flags and then drop your offerings. I know God has blessed you with a loud voice. Let's lift up our hands and together, let's share in God's goodness one to go. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. Double portion and next levels. life. 